Hey, butt queens, guess what? Clueless school's out. I was actually surprised to see this. I was, like, updating all my um apps, and then I saw episode. I was like, oh, I wonder if episode has anything new and relevant out. And I saw Clueless. And Clueless, the movie, came out in 1995. Like, that was my... That was my jam when I was a little girl. You know, it taught you not to bully, um, be nice to the new girl, have sex with your stepbrother. Like, it was a really wholesome movie. And so there's no way that I could not play this. So let's get to it. Episode one, an internship with a fashion designer in Beverly Hills sounds like a dream summer job until you meet your competition. Oh, I will take her out. Don't even worry about it, game. Don't even. I got my slap hand ready. You shouldn't assault people, but like sometimes you just gotta give someone a smack. Welcome to Beverly Hills, summer 1995, where I've been living a young woman's life of, dare I say it, brutal perfection. I have a mega hot boyfriend named Josh and a posse of dope friends. <gasps> Brittany Murphy. My life is like a skincare commercial. I'm totally the B-Hill's most enviable teen. Or I was until you came to town. What's your name? Fuck you, Cher. No, <laughs> that's not my name, but it will be Smack Queen. It's nothing, you know, there's no innuendos. You don't always need an innuendo in your name, guys. Yes, you, Smack Queen. I never thought I'd have competition. Turns out I was totally... Clueless. When dad was live, he always told me to dream big. Damn. No, that, I, that, that, that plane's going in a little steep, a little fast. So I don't know. And competing in the... Did dad die <laughs> in that plane crash? Oh, my God. And competing in the hottest fashion internship in Beverly's Hill, Beverly Hills is about as big as it gets. Now winning it? That'll be even bigger. Now I just need someone to help me figure out where I'm going. Oh, well the shirtless guy right there can <laughs> figure out where my pussy's going. Welcome to Los Angeles. You must be a smack queen. Oh, hello, super hunk. I'm smack queen. Oh, we're so cute. I like this look, actually. This is, ah, this is perfect. I like how she looks. And you must be my dream guy. Oh my god, yes. We didn't even need to talk. Let's just get to the action. Nope, I'm Steve, Mel Horowitz's driver. He wanted his stepdaughter to be picked up in style. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. There was this hot guy there, and now there's an older guy. Not that I'm against it, honestly. Uh, but am I tripping right now? Get a grip, Smack Queen. Airport fantasies are so last season. Gosh, I already made out with one old man. <laughs> I get off the plane, I'm already making out with my driver. <laughs> Mel sent his driver, solid. Are you ready to live it up in Beverly Hills? Beaches, shopping, parties every night. Hmm, no way I'm here to win. Are there hot guys in board shorts? Is that what Cher would do? Uh, I'm here to win, so like, and I maybe a little social anxiety, so I don't know, but like, uh, no, I'm here to win. Parties, are you crazy? I'm the future of fashion, not some valley girl. No parties? I thought that's what all the rad homies did. Excuse me? Is that how you say it? No clue, I'm only, I'm, I'm here for only one thing. An internship with the ultra-exclusive fashion designer Donna Chung. Never heard of her, but I pretty much wear this every day. Let's go get your luggage. Wait till you see the outfit I packed. Cheryl will be way impressed with my sense of style. I'm really into glamour grunge, urban edgy, power prep. Ooh, I think glamour grunge, glamour grunge, guys. I can speak. When I combine upscale with low maintenance, I make dirty hair look clean. Donna Chung is famous for trashing interns on their first day, but Cher's a designer brainiac. For sure she'll help me survive Donna day one. Sounds pretty intense. Yeah, but with my talent and Cher's intel, I'll breeze through D-Day one. And be totally set to win. Sounds like you've got a big summer ahead of you. Only the biggest. My life is about to begin. Oh my god, the inspiration! My life has officially expired. 
Cher, look on the bright side. You still have your health and your credit cards. But Josh hauled off the, to the middle of the Pacific to save the whales. Well, at least he's saving the whales and not like killing them and stuff. <sighs> you don't get it. I told Josh he had to choose between his girlfriend and a giant blowhole. Well, there's no literal difference there, Cher. Wait, which one is what? Jo Dion knows what the fuck. D. Um, humor. What did Josh say? He said, bye, ho. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Rip. He took off for real? That's bad. It's absolutely wretched. Yeah, you're super duper nice and your hair looks like a shiny blonde seaweed. Ty? Thanks. I thought Josh and I would have an epically romantic summer. Now what am I going to do? Now, what am I going to do? I've only got the clothes on my back. Oh my god, a mistake. It looks like mistake. The mistake got a tan <laughs> from my pretty little liars let's play. Sometimes the characters look so similar. All right. Sorry, miss. Hopefully your luggage will return up shortly. But I need to show Sherry I'm worthy. Freak out. Stay cool. Oh, I know. I'm like, I'm not one to freak out on people unless like things are really, really bad. And then, but I, I stay cool. I feel like niceness gets you a lot further with customer service. Unless they're being an asshole to you, then I might be like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. It's okay. It's just my intro, my internship, and my whole life. Without the proper fashion accoutrement, I'm merely toast. Wait, is that, do you say that in a French way? I, I would. I've been learning. I've been picking back up my French. I have been. She'll never want to help me if I'm dressed like this. Wait. Aren't we close to Rodeo Drive, shopping capital of Beverly Hills? It shares home away from home, and it's on the way. Um, <laughs> they see Steve rolling. They hate him. So, why do you want to win and stay in L.A. so badly? Well, I want to make my dad proud. My fashion genius needs to be shared. Hello, have you seen the guys here? Um... I want to make my dad proud. My dad's my inspiration. He died a couple years ago, and I know how proud he'd be of me. Well, then, you've got my vote. But my plan's ruined if I show up looking like this. Cher doesn't even know I'm coming. Mel wanted to surprise her. I think you look nice. Your outfit reminds me of my Aunt Lydia. <gasps> oh, I have one. <sighs> That's not helping, Steve. It's not helping at all. Rodeo Drive is just around the corner. Appropriate garb will totally show Cher I'm worthy of her help. Then no other intern stands a chance. Ooh, yes. I just got in two new looks from Damien LaRange. He's so fashion forward, he's in another era. I was shaving, shaving them <laughs> for my favorite client, but is she a fashion icon? We whisper her name with reverence here on Rodeo Drive. Who is she? Cher Horowitz. The legend's true. Sorry, I had to like burp, but I was holding it in. My voice was like, <laughs> Do you want to try them on? Point me to the dressing room. Right that way. Adorable. Wow. Beautiful. Look at me. How do I look? You were born to wear that dress. The mini backpack and junky, chunky boots are stray chic. I want to try in the other one too. Cute, adorable, wow. I know Cher loves plaid. And it fits you like a glove. You blow Aunt Lydia out of the water. Stop mentioning Aunt Lydia. <laughs> Which would you like to wear? Well, um, oh god, uh, oh it's my god, wait a minute, 10 diamonds? Did they lower the prices or is this just like a one-time thing for this game? Because I know this game is past free right now because it's new, but if, because usually the gems are like $30 for an outfit and it's way too much, I've been talking about this, but if they've actually legitimately lowered two 10 gems, like, that's a nice start. I don't know, so... 
I want to wear um, the perfect baby doll, I think. Oh, I know I liked the plaid. Can I go back? I, I, oh, I'm so excited to see what Cher thinks of this outfit. I changed my mind and now I can't fix it. <gasps> well, I think you look fabulous. Ditto for me. <sighs> what is Cher wearing? She looks like she's wearing fucking maternity dress. Cheer up. This summer is going to be off the charts. Josh or no Josh? And probably no Josh, right? Ty? Sorry, just doing the math. All right, ding dong. As if my life wasn't already fully decimated, Lucy quit this week. Now I have to answer the door myself. Come in. <laughs> Sliding into your DMs. Yo, woman, I paid you like 15 times. Murray, I hate when you call me woman. And that is exactly why I love you. Dude, who would ride on his mustache? <laughs> who would ride on his little stash? <laughs> Cher, why are you bugging, girl? Leave Cher alone, Murray. Joss left her for Shamu. Oh, snap, dish for a fish. Damn. I gotta book it, my new job starts in 10. I'm so nervous, I can feel the chunks rising. <laughs> can I give my soon-to-be employed girlfriend a ride to the grind? You bet, Trav. Who would sit on his eyebrows? I gotta fly also. Mall, three o'clock? You know it. Bye, girls. Wish you were here, Mom. From one Betty to another, you know exactly what to say. At least I have all summer to heal my wounded heart in peace. Love you. Cher's going to flip seeing me in this outfit. She'll so want to help me with my internship. Come in! Oh my god, hi! Sizzling apparel. Baby dolls are so in right now. Oh my god, my fucking fat thumb! God damn it, I didn't want to say that! No! Hi Claire, I mean Blair, I mean Javier. Oh, I can work with that. Cher, I mean Cher. Are you cute or what? And props on the outfit, you are way styling. Follow me. I knew she'd love this outfit, kudos to me. D-Day one, here we come. I got this. Would you like a snack before we get started? I could def use a smoothie infusion. Get, get started? Aren't you here to interview me for Beverly Hills Style Mag? You think I'm a journalist? She clearly thinks I'm worthy. She'll so want to help me win. Actually, I was expecting our new maid. But based on your white hot attire, you're at least a stylist. Well, be flattered. Clearly your taste is exceptional, but Cher, don't you recognize me? Of course she does. Smack Queen is my ex-wife Gail's daughter. She's your former stepsister. So you'll fuck your stepbrother, but you won't fuck me, Cher? No, <laughs> you're Josh's sister. But why are you here now? Smack Queen is staying with us for the summer while Gail's on her honeymoon. No way. Yes way, then she goes back to boarding school in the fall. Not if I win. Smack Queen can hang around here all summer. She'll just remind me of Josh and the accompanying turmoil. Ugh. Don't worry, Smack Queen won't be hanging around. She got herself a summer internship. It's based on my sense of style. That would explain your impeccable taste. It's totally hard to get in. Majorly competitive. And I need your help. Let's just ask directly. Would you help me, Cher? Moi? You're the teen queen of Beverly Hills Couture. Oh, so true. With your fashion brilliance, I can rock this internship. Me, fashion makeover? I feel a project coming on. Then you'll help with the internship? Of course she will. I got Cher the same internship. What? You need some work experience, Cher, and it'll get your mind off Josh. Working, like, at a job? Cher's my competition? She'll never help me now. What could be worse? Great. Ooh, delivery guy. Got a delivery for Smack Queen and Cher. Smack Queen right here. Oh my god, it's from Donna Chung. D-Day 1 begins right now. 
to be continued. <gasps> oh my word. Enjoying the story? Yes. Okay, no, no, stop. I don't know what I just clicked. Back. All right, I'm just, episode two. It's day one of your fashion internship with the uber exclusive designer Donna Chung. But last night you found out your almost sister Cher, Beverly Hills reigning fashion teen, is your competition. Will she be friend or foe? We'll see. I'll smack the fuck out of her. I don't even feel bad about it if she's my stepsister. Tomorrow's attire must be flat or you can kiss the internship goodbye. <laughs> A warning about Donna day one? What am I going to do? What is it? Nothing, just a reminder for us to be on time tomorrow. <sighs> what? I've gotta take this. I'll leave you girls to sort out the internship details. Me, at a nine to five? As if? Yo, delivery guy. <laughs> oh yeah, how you doing? Oh dear lord. What the fuck is that for? All right, it doesn't matter. How am I going to ace D-Day 1 without Cher? I've got to figure this out. Guess I'm not going to get a tip. <laughs> oh, you can get a tip. You can put it right... Never mind. You... I was going to tell you where you could put your tip, but I uh, sorry, guy. That sucks. Man, imagine you roll up to this huge mansion and no tip. What? The next morning... How can I compete with the Cher Horowitz? Her closet has been on the cover of every relevant fashion magazine. Twice. Yeah, then people are sick of her. They're, she's over. We're new. Smack queen, number one. She's already had her, like, glory. People are sick of it. They're over it. New look, new person, smack queen here to rule your fucking life. You were my first model, dad. I can't let you down. <laughs> If I do, it's back to boarding school and I can kiss my Beverly Hills dream goodbye. I swore to you I'd make it happen. But she's so ensemble gifted, she'll win this internship for sure. What can I do? Break down? Buck up. Buck up, baby. Get a hold of yourself, Smack Queen. You see that? She's sorry. Practice. <laughs> <laughs> Smacking the air, throwing her iPad, whatever. This is, there's no time to panic. I'm totally panicking. Maybe Cher doesn't worship Donna Chung as much as I do, so she won't care if she wins. Regardless, I have to convince her to loan me something super fly to wear today. I can't meet Donna and day old duds. Dude, put them in the washer. Who cares? Unless Cher's bitch ass calls us out. Morning, Duchess. We the, read the flyer about you and Josh moving to Splitsville. Sorry, kitten. Thanks, Christian, but an evil darker than a shattering... Heart is plaguing me. Daddy got me a summer internship. Joss's sister is working there too. Daddy invited her here for the summer. Oh honey, hard labor is not a good look on you. Can you imagine me on a lunch break? Sounds like Shara's company. And you know daddy, he expects me to sell at everything. Then you'll have to be the best internship po intern possible. Then how will I get her to help me? I've got to make a move. Eavesdrop. Ooh, let's get, let's eavesdrop. Or knock. You know, she's getting, Christian's like listening to her feelings right now. We need to interrupt her letting loose her feelings. We, ne we need to make sure they continue to be bottled up inside of her until she bursts in front of Donna Chung instead. Farge in. Wait a second, this isn't the bathroom. Oops. Oh, hey, Cher. You do have your own bathroom, Smack Queen. It's called a suite. Oh, I thought that was a closet. Well, hello, Smack Queen. The Beverly Hills boys are going to be lining up for a little hey hey with this one. Smack Queen, this is Christian. He's my good friend and fashion advisor. I prefer a spying auteur. Um, thesaurus that? It means film director. Cool, and share about yesterday. Apologize, flatter her. Your style is amazing. That's why I want you on my side. This internship is huge for me. It might even get me out of boarding school. How can doing menial labor get you out of boarding school? Death by hairnet? Oh my god, she doesn't know we're working at Donna Chung's. 
She doesn't even know this is D-Day 1. This could totally give me an advantage. Well, tell her the truth, be honest. Not. Oh. You know, either way, it's gonna make her freak out, but she has more time to freak out if we tell her right now. But we might not get her on our side if we aren't honest about it. But it's not my fault she doesn't know what's going on. That delivery guy brought us some shit. Maybe she should have fucking read it. We're going to be interns at some clothing store. Probably working in the back room. Oh, that's not the way to go about it. That's better than the car wash. Um, slightly. Guess we should get dressed. That's why I'm here. I need your help. I'm totally going to play on your sympathy. I'm going to suck up big time. Suck up. You are the personification of style share. No dresses as well. No one dresses as well as you. Word. The airline lost my luggage and I have no clean clothes to wear. Another reason I never fly commercial. I'd bow at your feet if you'd loan me an outfit. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That the hot guy who cleans your pool is possibly single? No, makeover. You can borrow something of mine. An event most dream of, but few experience. I know, Cher's fashion sense is legendary. I try to use my forces for good. Shall we adjourn to the closet? Do you want to come hang, Christian? I'd pat, I'll pat, I'll pat, I'll pass doll face. The last place I want to go is back in the closet. Come on, smack queen, let's get dressed. What do we got here? Wow, Cher. It's like the mall blew up in here. Cute, but casual. Okay, let's get you some garment refreshment. Follow me. The Pix and Lamont do influence don't, didn't do this justice. You must have like a thousand articles of clothing. A thousand and four. I even have a couple of next season Ignacio Sriracha pieces, his flower power dress in two colors, from his fabled petals to met the metal collection? I thought that was only a rumor. Rumors don't look that good with heels. Go ahead, try them on. Oh my god. We look good. Aside from faux fur, Donna Chung's favorite textiles are flowered. If I wear a flower power dress, she'll also think I'm tight with Ignacio. Ignacio. I'll way impress her, impress her. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I cannot speak today. Give the other one a go. Oh, I like the first one. Ignacio is one of this year's fashion icons on the verge. Midnight Floral is bound to get you promoted. And this will make me fashion intern on the verge. Last year's winner was specifically cited by Donna for a day one garb. This would put me ahead for D-Day one. Do you want to wear one of the designer dresses? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there were it was 10 gems last time. Now they're 18, what? I thought it was gonna be 10 the entire time. It's still lower than they usually are. I'll do it because it's actually really important, maybe, even though it probably doesn't even matter in the long run. We're just gonna get talked shit to. You should, you know, you two better give me some decent ads to cover for that, though. Mm-hmm. I know that's true. Congratulations, you look stunning. As a bonus for buying Power Up Pastel Flowers, you also get the Power Up Black Flowers on Off The Rack outfits for free. All these out- oh, okay. Wow, this internship might be lowly, but you're dressed to impress. Colorful floral is bound to get you promoted. And for sure, Donna will think I'm the most apt intern. Oh, we have so got this. Does it work? Total Betty. I'm actually jealous of my own closet. Thanks, Cher. That means something coming from you. Christian was still right, though. You're going to have to fight off the male species in this town. Bring them on. As an older, wiser woman, trust me, that only leads to heartache. Not if you just want the dickings, share, and you're not fucking your stepbrother you have to say every day. Like, come on, girl. I'm like, wait, that's my brother. Technically. Well, whatever. I'm willing to give dickings a try. Okay, describe. Have you never had a boyfriend? Not unless you count the kid in third grade who fingered me. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my god, that's fucked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Finger paint. I've never even been on a date. How is that possible? Don't tell me you've never been kissed. Okay, I won't tell you. Guess I haven't met the right guy. 
Bummer. My impeccable matchmaking instinct is in direct conflict with my broken heart, but project. Just a sec, D. I have to get this. I'll be down in five. Word. By the way, love your phone. It's exclusive. They're not even on the market yet. Daddy reps their company. Wow. Super lucky for you. This little flip is life-changing. It's opened up a whole new world for me. I can reach friends at the mall, order pizza from the beach, call in to radio contests for my car. It's limitless. That's so cool. See you downstairs. Oh, yes. My kind of... <laughs> it's kind of you to worry about, Cher. Smack queen. But my mind's made up. She's doing this internship. Why would you pit us against each other, though? Is this like the cholesterol convention of America or what? Daddy, explain. It's called it's called breakfast. Smack Queen found it in the fridge. I like this kid. Did I do something wrong? Cold pizza at 8 a.m. is never wrong. I haven't had a decent meal since Lucy quit. I'm in heaven. That's where you'll be practicing law if you keep eating that. It'll, I'll make you a veggie smoothie. I'd rather be starving or dead. Ditto. We should get going anyway. We can't be late for our first day. Let's bounce. I'll drive. In that case, look out, Smack Queen. I mean that in the literal sense. Oh, God, Cher's driving. Bye, Daddy. Wait. Let me capture this moment my two girls on their first day of work. Wow, Cher, that was so rude and unnecessary. Now we're out of here. Bye, Mel. He's totally going to fax that to all his friends. Oh, God. Oh, God. Are we going to make it there alive? Are you mega stressed or what, Smack Queen? This internship is a big deal. I refuse to go back to boarding school. I gotta follow my dream. Fashion is forbidden back there. There's a total lack of eye candy. My body is trapped in the halls of St. Ferris Prep while my soul yearns to be liberated in Beverly Hills. I'm Kelvin. That was very, way deep. I bet your school is so rad. Well, I don't mean to brag, but Bronson Alcott High is academically and socially superior. I wish I could go there. Want to turn on the radio and find us some tunes? I love this station. They have calling contests all the time. The prices are stellar. Except you need a cell phone in order to call. Then this must be your lucky day. There's one in the glove compartment. You carry an extra cell phone? No, silly. Daddy put it in there for you. This cell phone would have, will have an awesome impact on your internship romance and social life in Beverly Hills. Do you want it? Um, yeah, my personal phone and direct line to everything Beverly Hills. I'm doing it for you guys. Yes. Wow, thanks to Mel. He's the best. Daddy gets props. He's upped your social standing with a simple swipe of his credit card. Hey, turn up the radio. To win a romantic dinner for two, be the third caller at 555 Hills Rock. Quick, use your phone and call. Congratulations, caller number three. What's your name? Smack Queen. Well, Smack Queen, you're the lucky winner of a dinner for two at LeBronza's. <gasps> I won! Good thing you got that cell. Now we just have to find you a plus one for dinner. We should get booking. We don't want to be late on day one. Done. Oh, God, don't ever tell her that. Oh, God, we're going to die. Ah! <laughs> that jogger came out of nowhere when I tried to switch lanes. I don't think the sidewalk is considered a lane, Cher. My bad. I failed my driver's test, but I'm equipped with a permit and fully intend to pass this summer. Okay, for now, just focus on staying between the lines and get us there on time. Wait, we're interning with Donna Chung? The very important designer? The goddess of faux fur? I guess so. That, this was the address they gave me. But Donna is known for DJ1 and I look wretched. I'm sorry, Cher. If I knew we'd be working with Don Chung, I would have said something. Hmm, is that why you dressed up today? Um, we should roll. Don't want to be late. Damn, she's on to me. We look good, though, eh? Hey, guys, can we get some cappuccinos? I'd love one. The machine's on the second floor. Whatever. I meant for us. If Cher is so relevant, like, shouldn't people be like, oh my god, Cher. 
Hi, we're here for the internship. I'm Smack Queen and this is Cher. I'll pray for you. <laughs> this sounds even worse than expected. I hear her. She's close. Incoming! Oh god. Look confident, Smack Queen. Look very confident. You, in turn. I abhor those shoes. You're out. Be gone forever. And you! Give me one reason I shouldn't throw you out immediately. Me? Me? She is trying to seem tough. She knows we look good. We look really good. So go fuck yourself, Donna Chung. I'm going to be your favorite intern. I already know it. All right, guys. Hit the like button if you want me to continue. Comment whatever you need to comment. Um... <laughs> I like when you guys make funny comments. Those are my faves. But I hope you all have a wonderful evening and or day or day and goodbye.